Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. It's, my name is Kelly for those of you that are new here and I am going to share a Hobonichi haul. And it's actually four hauls in one. <laughs> you want to hear something funny? I wasn't even going to order a Hobonichi this year. <laughs> so, and then on the 5th of September I decided to look and get some pouches so I got some pouches and then I looked at the planners and the rest is history so I'm going to move some of these things out of the way and we'll just go one by one and take a look you know, there was a lot of fun things to choose from this year I think and I have one thing that's not Hobonichi but um since I decided to order after the release, which was on the 1st, <laughs> things were sold out. So, um, my first order, I just ordered the pouches. And then I, I just didn't even look at any of the planners or anything. I just looked at the pouches and bought some. And then I looked. So, what are you going to do? So, this is actually from the Hobonichi store. I got a cover and cover that fits A5 size, the cousin. Very simple. And then I got one for Hobonichi Weeks. And then I got this gorgeous one that fits um, on the Hobonichi Weeks. I think this is called Wish Upon a Star or Hope or something like that. And it's one of the two because these are the notebooks that are very similar to this design so you can see that is the same but they're called two different names one is something hope and one is wish something or other but they're very very pretty i like the floral arrangement and everything so i really like the notebooks and it's graph paper in case you've never seen that i've so i got four of these in this order um i like to stock up on these so i have a little stash and if you get tired of the design you know if you're using it for the whole year or whatever you can always just cover this with cardstock or just put it in a cover and then cover that with cardstock so you can use one of those MD covers and I got some of those too so since I'm talking about that I'll just show you this is an MD cover off of Amazon and I will link that below and it fits nicely over these books I use them all the time so some of you may know I have been doing a bullet journal in a sumpkin um, a sumpkin notebook that has like four, 380 pages and I just missed the Tomoe River paper so I decided that I will do my bullet journal in these so that's why I got so many of them so this is the MD cover and it fits right on there. So when you get tired of the design, you can always cover it up. You don't have to put a cover on it at all. And the MD covers are from Amazon, so they come in a two pack. Um, so I got some of those. So that is the first thing. And happy about that. So I'll be doing a bullet journal, but I'll be doing it with a slight twist. I have some other things coming from Hobonichi also next month. Um, so there's that. And then I got some pencil boards. So when I looked and I saw these, these are Animal Crossing. I do have a switch. These are just so adorable. So I got two of those in A5 size. I like to do um, 
art journaling a lot and just different things so when I just don't use it for a pencil board alone so when you're doing that at least for me and if I'm using like watercolor or whatever I like to have one pencil board here and one pencil board on the other page basically so it kind of protects the pages from any water or what have you on both sides so that's just how I always do it it's very helpful okay might as well just leave these two in there that's what I'll be using first and then I got the A6 because they're just so darn cute so pick those up and then I got the navy and let's see yeah navy and pink I got two A5s here back side is plain basically and I think that's a nice combination actually because I love pink with black but this is navy and then I got one Hobonichi pencil board I mean one week's Hobonichi sized pencil board so got those and then I got this nice A5 pencil board by the designer of Saul Later Don't Walk 1952 so that's very dramatic you know it's subtle but dramatic nice and moody and then that's for the cousin size and then this is for the week size and that's another Saul later foundation and this is called sidewalk 1950s don't walk and then sidewalk so that's kind of cool because you see things from a different lens depending on your perspective you know so he's inside a shop there's a whole write-up on the website about it so you can check that out if you're interested and then this came with the weeks that I got I'm sure you guys have all seen this but I love cats I have to um, have a neanderful year very cute so you can cut these up or just leave it as is and then these came on the pouches I don't know where the fourth one went there's four of them maybe it didn't come with it I don't know but here's from the pouches let's see what's next showed you that um, how about we do the pouches? And if anyone knows me, anyone who knows me rather, knows I love plaid. So I got all four plaid size pouches. This is the large one. It's beautiful. Nice brown plaid with yellow and red. I really like these. I have another one that I'm using that's this size I think it's called hedgehogs it looks like this it's the same size as this though but I have this size too so I just use it for different I'll just show you I use it for papers and just different stationary supplies um, for art journaling that's how I've been using it lately um, so, I think this one was from 2019 or 18, I can't recall. You can look at my video if you're interested, but it's very cute. So, that's, I have this size and this size in this hedgehog pouch. They're, they're very durable, and they hold up to use. So like them and it opens up like that it's like an accordion pouch and then it has 
two big pockets, one longer pocket so you can put papers, and then credit card size pockets, two, four, six of those, a zipper pouch for anything you don't want that could possibly fall out, small things, and then a mesh pouch here because it does have two openings at the bottom, oh, just on this side. The other one, I think it's both sides, but this is just the one side has that opening. And on the way back, it has also another handy pouch. And it's a good size. And I could not resist the plaid. I love, love, love plaid. Nice, durable handles. Really like these. So this was my first order, basically. All the pouches. On the 5th, because like I said, I was not going to order Obonichi. <laughs> and then this is the next size up. This is called the Anne. And it unzips like that. And I have another one. And I use it all the time. I love this plaid too. This is beautiful. What I had done was, <laughs> why I looked at the pouches, is because I was looking for this in that larger size to see if they happen to have it. I don't know if they ever did or not, but I don't have one of those. So again, I keep papers and things in there. So I use that for my art journaling all the time. And it fits in these glass opening. They're like mini china cabinets. They're very cute. I'm sure you guys have seen them. So this is the Plaid Anne. And again, it's an accordion pouch. A plain open pocket. And then you have one, two, three, six credit card size pockets. A zipper pouch. And then you have two... They're larger than the credit card size pockets in there. That, that, and then six more pockets. And then one large one. And then you have a pocket on the way back. So I absolutely love this size. This is, um, if you only got one size, or in me, if I only got one size, I would go with the Anne. It's just such a nice size, and it also fits your Hobonichi Weeks. So, I can show you that later. And then the next size is this. So it's more of the size like the hedgehog, hedgehog pouch I just showed you. Beautiful. It has a long pocket on the back there. And the plaid goes all the way down, and then it has brown here. Very lovely. It has a good zipper. So here's the mesh pouch here, just like the other one. And then three pockets here, just like the other one. So you can use this as a pen pouch as you like. Really nice. Very nice quality. And then last but not least on the plaid pouches is this very small one. You could even use this as a wallet if you want. And they each have these little handles on them. So, one, two, three, four. You could just slip your cash and your credit cards in there and that's it. And then a pocket on the way back for receipts if you use it outside like that. It's a nice pouch. I'm happy about that. So then, later on, after I had received that order, that's when I looked. <laughs> so, I got this one. This is another pouch. Very, very lovely. And by the time I decided on that because I actually initially went in looking for the pouch in this pattern in this Anne size they were, they were already sold out it's not a new release but I can get plenty of use from this um, just keeping my stationery it's like a carpet bag one of those Mary Poppins carpet bags and it's magnetic closure and this is wood so I thought that was a very nice touch and I just 
really like these colors. I like this design. So they might come out with it again in the on a pouch size, so you never know. But I'm really happy with that. So Okay, and then so that was pouches were my first haul from Hobonichi and then the second order from Hobonichi I got those notebooks and I got let's see my planner and this these are all also from Hobonichi so these are just little papers I'm sure this is some sort of cartoon it says Fujiko Pro. And it comes in this little zippy pouch. So they're nice size thick papers. Not too thick, but it has some substance and it's embossed. So you get three different designs and you get one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen of each. So that one, this door, it's very cute, and then the toast with the um, multiplication table. So I thought that was cute, so I said why not. Just pick those up too. So that'll be fun to use when I'm feeling like. Um, a more of a kawaii design. These aren't really too kawaii, but you know what I mean. You know? I thought that would be really fun. And then, last but not least, from the Hobonichi website, I got this week's. I think it's really pretty. This is the Joanna, I think it's called, with the floral. I like this a lot and it's very bendy. I didn't have a week's last year so it came with these. These look like two pencil boards. They're, they fit in there. Slightly overhangs it as you can see. But you could use these as pencil boards. I have the card and then it comes with this you can hook that on there or you can hook that on there either way as you like and then so obviously I have that cover for the weeks so I thought I would just put that on so what I'm going to use with for this one this year, um, last year I did not have one for this purpose, and I usually do, um, is I'm going to use this as my nutrition and fitness. It just really works out well for me um, when I've used my cousin or my original size which is a6 so this year i decided i will use oops the weeks for that purpose and there you have it so it fits really nicely so i really like the floral i think it's really lovely especially this like green ochre color and then there's a yellow ochre those florals are really pretty and as you know it comes with two bookmarks so i'll put like little tiny charms on it and then i kept this to the side because i wanted to show you i'm not sure if it fits here yeah it does so it does fit in the way back. Uh, I would not keep mine there. And that's not the purpose 
that I'm going to use this for, but just to show you, it does fit in the pouch with the cover. Just fine. And then you can slip your phone here if you want. And then call it good. So, just wanted to show you that. In case you, some people have still never tried a Hobonichi, so you just never know. It's a rabbit hole, believe me. <laughs> because once you get on that website, it's like, oh. Alright, and then, and that came with this um, pen. This is an Uni style jet stream. It has three ink colors, bl black, blue, and red. It writes really nicely, so this is the mint color. I think last year was navy. So there's that. That came with that. And then, since we're on pens, I will show you this. Now, I... Everything was sold out. A lot of things were sold out. Not everything, but a lot of things that I was interested in were already sold out, so... <laughs> I went online searching, and I went to Atlas Stationery. Now, I've never ordered from them before so this is my first time and they have a really cool card I want to show it to you I'm not sure where I put it and so I got several things now oh, here it is it was slipped under that book. So I got a bunch of stuff from the Atlas, Atlas Stationaries. And this is located in downtown Chicago. And the box even has this label on it, so it's really cute. So you can use this in your art journal if you want. So I thought that was nice. So I saw a couple things on Hobonichi related, of course. This Parker this is called the Parker Jotter, I believe. So yeah, Jotter and Victoria Violet. Because I kept the label there. I will recycle that. And it's just a simple, nice ballpoint pen with black ink. These are very handy. I like them a lot. I have a couple other ones. I'm not sure if I have them right here or in my pen pouch. Yeah. So, I'm very familiar with these pens. So, that's another thing I got. And then, I got this. Now, I have this full already. We'll get to that in a minute. But this is a pencil pouch. Um, this is called the 365 Days. And this is very special and dear to my heart because the designer has a brother who has Down Syndrome. And he wrote these numbers. And this is his signature right here. So he practiced and practiced and practiced. And he wrote those numbers beautifully. So I had to get something because I only need one Hobonichi weeks. And I figured if I, because I really like this cover as well, but I figured at least um, if I got the pouch, I could still use it from year to year, even though this isn't the match to it exactly. So it's a nice little pouch. It's mesh on the inside and plastic on the outside. Yes, yeah, someone who is very, will always have my heart, has Down syndrome, so I had to support this absolutely. And it fits right over your weeks. I even have that cover on there. So, regardless if it matches or not, it does not matter to me. It's the sentiment behind it, and I really want to support them. So... It fits right on there really nice. I like that a lot. So now I can always have that with me. And handy. And I will keep my pens right in there. 
because, um, like I said, I'm going to use this as my food log and nutrition and uh, fitness and then to track my weights and measurements. So this is the overview for the entire year. And then in here I can track my weight on the month section and then on the daily section. This I'll just show you. This is and this starts um, on the 29th of November. So if you've never seen a Hobonichi Weeks it does have markings one here and one here so you can divide this into three columns. So I figured breakfast, lunch, and dinner you do vertical and if I get tired of that layout, I can always write it horizontally, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then on this side, um, I do believe her name, or her sign name on Instagram is Penguins Creative. And she did a video, I don't know when, but she had the title Body Talks and then something Thoughts. So I figured I could write, you know, any... Um, ailments if I have a headache or cramps or what have you and how I feel about that. Um, I can also just use this side for um, fitness so whatever exercise and forever how I have a whole setup in um, a that I use just exclusively I think it was in 20. 19 also or 2018 I can't recall that I used for fitness and then I used the whole thing though um, for how long I exercised um, what type of exercise how fast I went my heart rate so you can really utilize this area well so and that's so convenient and handy you can just put this right on your treadmill and record it um, or what have you so I'm not, the only thing I'm not sure about is how, what I will use for this tracking. I could maybe, um, cause I'm actually doing keto. I've been doing keto since August, not fully, but mostly. So I've cut way down on carbs. So it's 20% or less of carbs that I'm doing and I've lost weight. So it does work. Um, but I could write, you know, how I'm, if I'm craving sugar and I, I haven't had any sugar since August when I started. So, um, yeah, I just wait like that <laughs> and I usually don't, but when you cut out sugar, well, and then you cut out a lot of your carbs you really do lose weight so um anyway i could use this as some sort of a tracker um mood tracker you know or something like that so that's an idea and then of course any other notes or collections um if i'm reading something about um nutrition or fitness I can jot it in that section so I like this size it's very portable so I think it'll be very handy for that but I'm a little bit um, um, I would say not skeptical but I'm a little bit apprehensive that it's gonna work fully and I have enough room to write my meals but I usually only eat twice a day anyway. I mean, that's just how it is. Um, so I could use this section just to coffee and what's exactly in my coffee because once you do plateau, you need to figure out what it is that you're consuming that is making you plateau, right? So um, you have your cappuccino. I always use sugar-free Torani syrups hazelnut is my favorite and then stevia heavy cream because you're allowed to have that on the diet for keto um so i could use that section for that
because coffee is a food group, right? <laughs> All right, and then, so that's a sidebar. So that was from Atlas Stationery. And then I got this. This was sold out on the website by the time I ordered. Um, so this is a ko e -Nor colored pencil. What does it say? Versati. It's really neat. So it was sold out, like I said. So this came in a set, and I will link it below on Amazon. You get a Faber-Castell dust-free eraser. And then it came with all of these black lead. Um, and I did go ahead, They d on the website, they did have, on Hobonichi's website, they did have the refills for the um, colored pencil. Um, so I did go ahead and get that ordered, but they just didn't have the lead holder. So let me just grab a paper and I will show you. There's a Hobonichi paper because I do Dutch doors heavily sometimes and I always reuse the little bits of paper that are left over. So this came as a set, like I said, so I'm happy about that. This whole thing from Amazon. And they do have the lead, this lead on Amazon, but not in the set. It came in this pencil, but not with this set. So if you want more colored pencil lead, and it has different colors, as you can see, red, green, blue, yellow, um, this is all blue right now which there we go some yellow and then different colors so it's an all-in-one it's really fascinating That would be fun. I use pencil all the time. And I have different um, lead holders that I use. The E&M one. Um, I got that years ago off of jet pens. So I really like this. This is fun. So I thought, why not? So it comes like that. And I will keep this also in my little pencil pouch. Okay. Then, now let's get back to the Atlas Stationaries portion haul of this. So uh, these are called, let me look, Shinsuke Yoshitaki. That is the designer of these stickers. Cute. You get all different kinds of stickers. I'll just show you a few. Pardon my hand, I have colored pencil in it. But yeah, I thought these were adorable. So. Those. Well, no, actually, I can't recall. I don't remember if this was from Hobonichi or Atlas. But the rest is definitely from Atlas. Because everything, all of these were sold out. So I'm sure they'll restock them again some point and then they had these three and these are sticky notes from the same designer and they're called different things um creatures let's see like fantastic friends creatures 
and I can't remember the other one. And close friends. Yeah. So. <laughs> Look at these. Where to start first? So this green set has four sets of sticky notes. Look at that little boy. He's too precious for words. He has his little Hobonichi under his arm. And there's the stuffed shirt. <laughs> That's funny. He has his Hobonichi. And there is Grandma with her Hobonichi and her purse. And there is a little kid with two Hobonichis and her book bag. So these are all sticky notes. They're very sweet. Sticky notes come in handy if you want to use these. If you're um, just tired of the layout. I've used sticky notes before to make my days of the week. And then you just write on, you know, there for the days of the week. And then here's another one. There's a kitty cat. And she has her Owenichi strapped around her back. That's adorable. I really love that. And then there's a kangaroo with a baby. And then what? Some sort of a bird with their Hobonichi under their wing. And a little doggy with his Hobonichi strapped on his back. <laughs> and then here is another guy. He looks like he's going to hedge. Is what he looks like. Uh, so that's cool. And he's got his Hobonichi. Because he has a little halo. And then this one, I've seen this, this is in the stickers too, obviously, but this one looks like an octopus with a mushroom as a head. So he's got, or she has her Hobonichi and her suitcase, she's traveling. And then you guys have this like robot guy with his Hobonichi. And then this one looks like a ninja turtle with his Hobonichi. Those are funny. Yeah, so those are the sticky notes I could not resist. And then I got this button. So you can put this on your planner. It has a little loop like that. And this is a cat. This is called, I think it's called Reflection. It's very pretty. The cat looking in the mirror really like that. It's a nice brass button. So I, this patina is like, um, I have the, I think it's called Search and Collect, um, both sides, the original and the A5 Hobonichi covers, and they have buttons like these on them, but not this design. So I thought that was sweet. And then last but not least, my favorite thing. Stamp. And these are so adorable. So it's, again, the same designer. And one is um, at home and one is outside. So the pink and green one is outside. And the blue and orange one is inside. At home. that was my impetus for going to Atlas Stationaries was getting these stamps. I mean, they, they have other dealers that sell Hobonichi products, but I, like I said, I just, it was not on my radar this year, and then I just loved, fell in love with these stamps. And I looked at the Animal Crossing and down the rabbit hole I went. <laughs> so that's why it's four hauls the first haul was the pouches from Hobonichi directly and then after I received those because I didn't order those until the 5th of uh, September and as you know the release was on the 1st of September and then later some I think around the 13th I looked at the planners so then I placed another order and then that's all this and then another order is coming what are you going to do? Um, and then I had to get one thing on Amazon. So, two Hobonichi, one Atlas, and one Amazon. 
for all these things, but it's okay. And I always say, always look at the release when it before on the previous, but I didn't, so. So it actually comes in a nice plastic case. So that's nice. I use a lot of wooden stamps, and I also use a lot of um, clear stamps like this. This is a, one of the wooden ones that I have. Um, so it's nice to have a different texture in my hand, I think. So there are all of the designs on the back. They are adorable. And then here is the out... This one is ho at home. This one is outside. Those are all the designs. There. And it's nice that they included ink pads. So you get a blue ink pad and you get an orange ink pad and then you have this little this is like a throwaway piece and then a paper backing with the designs on them so they just fit in there and then these are the stamps really cute so they're actually pretty well made. They have a sticker on the top so you can see the design. So I like that little sound. Can you hear it? <laughs> well, it's the little things in life that make it good, right? And that's what the stamp looks like. So I'll be using those. These. So cute. Here's a close-up shot in case you were interested. Yeah, I just fell in love with this designer. Very cute. Even a little tuna fish can and some tea. And that's funny. He's got his bum up in the air. Really cute. And then this has a green stamp pad and a pink stamp pad. And there is a tricycle. And this one reminds me of The Giving Tree, that book. By Shel Silverstein. That one. I had the best librarian. Her name was Mrs. Frank. Um, I really loved that woman. She used to read us books when I was really young, starting at like when I was four or something, um, you know, you go to the library during elementary school, right? And she'd read us our books, a book, everyone would sit on the floor, she'd be in her wooden rocking chair, and she'd read us the book, and then we would go over it, and the moral lesson, because usually they were fables that she would read, and we would go over the lessons from the book that we would read, she would read us, so love that. Anyway, <laughs> a little I digress. That's funny. And the leaf. Anyone else? But they're replaying The Sopranos on HBO. I have it on DVD, but um, <laughs> they're replaying that because they have a new show coming out. The what's it called? The Saints of Newark on HBO. And I used to work for a plastic surgeon at the time. An, an, an Italian plastic surgeon who did that surgery. Because <laughs> he's the one who turned us on to the show. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> it just came to my head. I don't know why, but, um, the shenanigans. Oh, because the show is, um, the new show that's coming out is based off of The Sopranos and when Tony was younger. So, I guess seeing that, I mean, look at that. Shenanigans, right? And, um, yeah. So, yeah. I used to work the pack you and sometimes circulate in the OR. But anyway, with that doctor, and it's a family-owned practice, so I really like them. They're very, very nice, and um, his sister-in-law works there. Diane. And she's always such a nice lady. She's always has a very down-to-earth person. 
Um, but they all are, so. Anyway, so that is my Hobonichi Paul's 1, 2, Hobonichi, Hobonichi, Amazon, and Atlas. Four. Four hauls in one um, video. <laughs> and like I said, I will be doing another haul video sometime in October, I imagine. And then go from there. So my advice to myself and to anyone else, always check the website and the previews because then you don't have to scramble <laughs> like I did this year. And I'm a veteran at this. Seriously, I've been using Hobonichis for years, so I should have just figured I would want one. Anyway, that is my haul for this September, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked what you saw, feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and I wish you all a beautiful day. Bye!